hey guys what's up welcome back to the channel it's cynic alex let's see what we got from this free hero chest and today we're going to be going through the new shield story i'm going to be moving my camera i got a three star red guardian not so bad i actually realized that these new chests are actually even better than we thought because they also give you a like they can give you a four five or six star character which for newer players can accelerate not your vip level they can accelerate the number of characters that you have for co-op and of course, the more characters you have for co-op, level 40, four stars and up, the higher rewards you will get. So the new chests are actually really, really good. Anyways, moving on to the true shield. I finally unlocked it. I actually unlocked it yesterday or the day before with Sif's potential. I finally unlocked Sif's potential level 70. So she is ready to go to get awakened if she gets, well, not if, when she gets her awakening skill. Hopefully she gets a uniform with that. But in the meantime, we have the new story to check out. So for those of you that aren't going to unlock this anytime soon, you can check out the new story. You can check out the new dialogue because there is dialogue. There's cutscenes as well. I will turn all of that on so you guys can enjoy it. And oh, yeah, it's on already. And I will also briefly show you guys here. You know what? I haven't even played the normal mode. I've only played the ultimate mode for the first uh, clear reward. So I'll show you guys the characters that you need in case you're wondering. Uh, so you can see ahead of time. It'd be nice if they could show us ahead of time. But anyways, for this one, you need Sunbird, Storm, and Deadpool. Then you need uh, Red Guardian, Ghost Rider, and Moon Knight. Then you need Blue, uh, Blue, sorry, uh, Black Bolt, Sunbird again, and Dr. Octopus. And then you need Thanos, Elsa, Dr. Octopus. So Dr. Octopus appears twice, and so does Sunbird. So I would say if you don't have either of those characters, and if you don't want... If you don't want to transcend those characters, then you probably want to wait at least two weeks for this to rotate. It's going to rotate in 17 days, a little bit more than two weeks, but you sort of get what I'm saying. Hopefully in 17 days, these will have more sort of uh, account friendly characters. Because honestly, this list is pretty bad. Deadpool, Ghost Rider, and Moon Knight are basically the only good ones. Red Guardian, Dr. Octopus, and Sunbird are pretty obscure transcended characters. And... Black Bolt's okay, um, Storm is okay, but then Thanos is really expensive, and Elsa is awful. So, no offense to Elsa fans, but yeah, she is awful. So anyways, the um, I don't want to talk too much about the, sh the stage special bonuses here, because there's nothing special or interesting, it's just immune to guard break immunity. Or immune to guard break, it's, all, it's just that. The actual, um, ooh, all speed. Anyways, the actual in-game... In sort of status effects that you can get are, are more interesting like you get you get shrunken down by lasers and stuff but anyways we're gonna play the normal mode for the additional you know what i didn't even play this one look at that first clear rewards you get 30 bios you get 60 uh, of that and 50 of that it's not much but it's something and so i'll i'll get, I'll get this hammered out and in the meantime you guys can check out the uh the storyline because there's gonna be a storyline here so let's go ahead and run this through with Valkyrie. Sure, why not? Do, I mean, we can run it with anyone. You don't have to run it with tier threes. So let's just go ahead and do this. Yeah, let's jump right in. So it starts off with uh, with Gem Gemma, Gemma Simmons. Mr. Stark, I've been scanning for signs of the Lost Convergence device, but so far I have been unable to locate similar technology in any ancient adjacent dimensions. Then maybe it's time to call in some help. Got anyone you know you can trust out there? At the moment, only myself, I'm afraid. Hmm, maybe that's all you need. I mean, we've met all sorts of heroes and villains from different worlds, right? So they're just basically harping on the the old, you know, Marvel Future Fight, different copies, right? They're just they're just going back to that old well there. Uh, the odds of an alternate universe of myself would have the means to receive an interdimensional message are slim, sir. Don't sell yourself short, Gemma. Come on, Gemma. You're better than that. People are as brilliant as you and I. People as brilliant as you and I always find their way to the top. I have such a hard time reading the, this text for some reason. I don't know. Let's just hope you choose to use that big brain of yours for good on the other world too and then oh phil colson comes along as well there's actually a lot of characters in this storyline they intercepted a message we get nick fury pulling up with the og uniform very very cool so we get a message from another earth and who's sending the message oh it's another agent simmons and here we have sif but this is like the default uniform for sif and then we've got another version of sif sif joins along with the agents of shield and this is how they sort of get involved together and basically, Sif cannot ignore the pleas of people who need help. So now they look into the message. Uh, oh, never mind. They don't look into the message. They they get a report that one of the helicarriers, the Iliad, is under siege. I have abandoned the idea of, you know, reading this out word for word here. So they have to... Uh, oh, and the Inhumans have attacked the helicarrier. Because the helicarrier has Terrigen crystals. Why does S.H.I.E.L.D. have Terrigen crystals? I don't know. So, yeah. 
Not really sure. They don't really explain that part of the story. But yeah, that's how the first mission starts off. You get set up. There's Terrigen Crystals on a Shield Helicarrier. So you go to the Shield Helicarrier to protect Shield, I guess. There's a really cool uh, thing here where, look, if you run into the Lightning, it does damage to you. So you actually have to physically destroy that box. Systems down. And so there's another box here, but first you have to destroy these Inhumans, I guess. These, like, these generic Inhuman thugs. It's so cool. You got to destroy the box. I, I really like that. I really like the, that, that touch. So, yeah, we kill these guys here. This is going to be very easy because this is not the ultimate mode. So we're just playing this more for the story than the actual um, difficulty. We have a really, really cool background here with the helicarrier and stuff. I really like this artwork. So Lady Sif uh, confronts the Inhumans and she's like, hey, you got to back down. The Inhumans are not going to back down, uh, you know. Phil Coulson tries to talk some sense into them. They're not going to surrender. Agent 13 gets involved. I, I kind of wish you got a uniform. But yeah, they don't want to listen, so we got we to gotta beat them up old school. We got to talk with our fists here. So we knock these guys out, and then we have to destroy this. We do, and then I believe the mission... No, the mission's not over. Okay, now Daisy gets involved as the resident shield in human. But Daisy's not quite sure who it is. Oh, I got to some damage there. Wow. Whatever they're trying to do, your guess is as good as mine. Systems are down, and we spin our way to the last part of the mission. And here we go. We confront Crystal. Hey, so the first Inhuman makes their appearance here. So I like how they sort of, they took the, the, the Inhumans from the special missions, and they infused them into this story in a really nice way. Because before, the only Inhumans that we saw were, was uh, Deathlock and... Deathlock's not even... Is Deathlock an Inhuman? I don't think he is. But he was in the Inhumans mission. He was, like, mind-controlled or whatever. And then we also saw... Um, I can't remember her name, but she, she like, it, she emits spikes out of her body. Anyways, not, not sure who that is. But, um, yeah. So, Nick Fury starts talking to Crystal. And Crystal's pissed because we took the Terrigen Crystals, right? And she wants to protect them. And, you know, it only helps... It, it's harmful to humans. It's, it's lethal, the, the Terrigen Mist. Um, but it's it's... The, the Inhumans need it to create more Inhumans. So she starts talking, you know, they, they make this whole divide between like Inhumans and actual humans and how Daisy's an Inhuman, but she's helping the humans. Daisy's pretty tight-lipped about this. And then Sif comes in and says, we're going to smash your face in. So yeah, pretty straightforward of her to do that. I don't think this fight has any interesting mechanics. There are some fights with some hilarious mechanics, as you will see. But yeah, Valkyrie makes pretty short work of... Uh, Crystal in that first mission. We get our first clear rewards. We get some bios. Nice. Lockjaw jumps in. We don't get any animation for Lockjaw before you get excited that Lockjaw is going to be a Marvel Future fight. Nope. But Lockjaw does come in and teleport. Uh, teleports Crystal out of the way. You know, away from, from, from danger. So they try to track Lockjaw's signature, but they can't. So then she has an idea. If they're not on New Adelan, they're on Oralan. So they're going to go to Oralan to find out what crystal is doing with those crystals get it crystal with those oh it unlocked all the missions now okay cool all right well it, you sort of it sort of ruins the surprise here but maximus is the bad guy behind everything who who would have thought right you get this this really sick animation too and daisy's looking daisy's looking nice all right let's use uh white fox for this next one so yeah pretty pretty cool story i really like the the different stages i really like the amount of effort that they put into this and all the scripting and stuff uh, at times, maybe it seems like a little bit too much talking because there's no voice acting. I wish there was just maybe a little bit of voice acting, but it's all right. Um, oh, you know what? There might not be any... I was bragging about the interesting stage mechanics. You do fight Moon Girl, which is pretty cool. So they're like, oh, and that, this artwork is sick too. So Sif and Daisy are talking, and then here we go. There's a dinosaur coming towards them. I was talking about the... Um, the stage mechanics, but I don't think the normal mode has the stage mechanics. I think it's only the ultimate mode that has that. So basically, Moon Girl implies that she wants Devil Dinosaur to eat us, which is pretty cool. Because that's pretty gross. Didn't know Moon Girl was such a savage. But we have to take her out. And then we go through here. Pretty straightforward. Oh yeah, so the earthquake is coming. Okay, so there are stage mechanics. Pretty cool, right? And there's earthquakes on the sides. It's not, it's not, you know, it's, it's not mind blowing, but it's, it's pretty cool. And you'll find out later who's, uh, creating those shockwaves. Cause it's obviously not Quake. Why would Quake, 
I would Quake be creating the shockwaves for us on the team, right? Quake's part of part of our, our squad. So you'll see what happens. It's pretty cool. The reveal's pretty nice. So we go over here, yada, yada, yada. Fight some more random thugs. You know, this is like the... Oh, the, the little level 20 guys before we get the, the big guys here. These are the, the little scrubs before the boss. They just got to take care of. We get more quakes. Boom. Oh, more quakes. They don't get hurt by the quakes either. The uh, the inhumans here. There we go. Oh, who's this? This is... Who was that? Oh, yeah. Kamala Khan. <laughs> I killed her too quickly. But it's Kamala Khan with her newest uniform. I Sorry, I murked her super fast. And then what do we see here? Thane! How cool is this, bros? We see Thane! How sick is that? And he amberizes this. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, we don't get amberized. We get silenced. I wanted to get I wanted to get like, you know, encased in amber. I think it's so sick that they incorporated Thane into this as an inhuman. What was that guy's deal? Never seen him before, but he was more powerful than I expected and he seemed familiar. You probably remember his dad, alien guy called Thanos. <laughs> That's the half inhuman son he abandoned on Earth. But we just took down Thanos Jr. Not bad. <laughs> This is so this is actually so sick. I know some of you guys don't care about this don't care for the story on this level, but I really do. And I think this is dope. So we get this nice cutscene here. Watch out. Boom. Fire. Who could it be? Oh, look at that reveal. Inferno chilling on the building. Jumps down. Like the quality of this game is pretty solid for a mobile game. You gotta admit, right? So Daisy confronts him again. There's no voice acting, right? But another one of the secret warriors I used to run with goes by Inferno. I would do voice acting for this. I did voice acting on Twitch for this. You're an inhuman, Daisy. How can you side with them? She's mad. You mean the team trying to stop a global genocide? True. Pretty easy choice. We got the 2D Sif over there. Genocide. Can't you see he's trying to save us all? Usually when the character's name is in red, they're either a bad guy or they've been brainwashed. That's pretty, that's pretty much the telltale sign, sign in MFF. Inferno's not having any of this conversation. You're lying. I'll show you the truth. He's giving me Anakin vibes. Flaming, yelling, and calling you a liar. Those are those are big time Anakin vibes. So now you have to fight Inferno. This fight is actually pretty cool. There's only really one catch to this fight, but basically, well, you'll see in a second here. It's not using ice. So there's an earthquake, and you have to you have to get Inferno to get hit by the earthquake. He's actually doing quite a bit of damage. It should give us the prompt in a second. All right, all right, dude, calm down. When is the prompt? Okay. Well, anyways, in the ultimate mode, it says that you have to, like, he starts. He basically starts charging at you, and you have to. Um, oh yeah, here's. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I did too much damage. It said stop, Inferno, gone berserk. So Inferno basically starts charging at you and guard breaking you if you don't stop him and the way that you stop him is you if you is you run into the the earthquake and the earthquake hits you and him but it stuns him i, I sort of ruined the the big reveal for you guys because i killed him too too fast it's way easier to show you on ultimate mode because he has way more hp my bad anyways trust me it's pretty cool what happened so we so we knock we knock the sense back into inferno he doesn't have the the red text anymore so now they're like, yo, tell us what's going on. He was in New Adelan, and then someone's trying to save him. Oh, Maximus. So now we get the reveal. Maximus is back to his old brainwashing the Inhumans ways, right? Black Bolt summoned us to the Inhuman capital. Maximus was on the throne. Maximus is trying to take control of, of Adelan. What a surprise. So he's, you know, so twisted that he's trying to mind control his own people. He's trying to build a Terrigen bomb. This is pretty much straight out of the cliche bin here for uh, the Inhumans. Maximus wants to get rid of all humans and make everybody in humans. Yada, yada, yada. Now we have to go pay our respects to the royal family. So now we have to go to Adelan, which is pretty sick. We got Medusa Biles down here. You know what? I didn't even consider that. So Moon Girl is fine and Kamala Khan. But you know what? Medusa Bios. I don't think you can get Medusa Bios anywhere else, right? I, I believe Medusa's Bios are only available um, in the shop, right? Yeah, so that's actually nice that you can farm Medusa Bios because otherwise you have to use bio selectors. So that's that's something to consider. Again, I wouldn't say you should rush to level 70 all those characters to farm like 5 to 15 Medusa Bios a day, but I believe they're the same bios in Ultimate. Yeah, you got Medusa Bios here, Kamala Khan there. So Kamala, Moon Girl, and Maximus, I believe, are all in the support shop for, for tokens, but Medusa isn't. Here we go. We're in Adelan. We got the Adelan background. Nick Fury's 
Nick Fury's being Nick Fury. He's doing Nick Fury things. Coulson and Nick Fury having a little conversation. The cliche of, you know, no one's here to attack us yet. Oh, what a surprise. And then, oh, Inferno came along too with Daisy. So we get attacked here. So these lasers, if they hit you, they shrink you. Did you see that? It didn't last very long, but Valkyrie was tiny little shrunken Valkyrie. <laughs> and her attack, her movement speed and her attack speed gets lowered, which is pretty hilarious. If you don't, if you don't, uh, you know, if you don't mind my saying so. And you got these cool little, these like triangular apocalypse lasers. They look like those little summons that Apocalypse has. They're pretty cool. I really like this stage. I really like this music as well. The music is pretty banging. Look at this. Look at this. You got a really cool bridge. So you've got these shields. If you run into them, they do damage to you. So you have to wait until they're powered down. Those like those blue cubes. Wait until they're powered down and then attack them. So you basically have to wait, wait, wait. And they'll they'll power down and then you can attack and destroy them. So it's a cool it's a cool little mechanic. It's not just, you know, brain dead, uh, go, 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 smash, smash, smash. So we question or we, you know, we meet up with Crystal again. She's like, listen, Dante, you don't know what you're talking about. Maximus, no. Nah. Maximus is fine. I'm serving the king and queen. Nope. Wrong. Eh. So it's 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 the basic trope of mine. Did I just awaken skill on her? My bad. That was a bit excessive. I will admit, it was a bit excessive. But uh, yeah, just the basic uh, mind control trope. We destroy more of these things here. We start seeing the uh it's really it's really funny the way they do this you start to see more of the maximus bots that he creates right so it's, it's sort of slowly creep wait did i just beat we really could have used agent 13 and inferno against that trust me sir the way things are going their mission is more important right now was that karnak i don't think it was anyways so there's another quake there's another like shake right the ground just shook who was that quake it's Gorgon. Hey, so now you have to fight Gorgon. It's so cool how they like, go through all the Inhumans. I really appreciate that. That they don't just recycle the same characters over and over again. So yeah, we fight Gorgon. There isn't any tricks, I think, to the Gorgon fight. I think it's pretty straightforward. I know I killed him really fast, but yeah. I, I'm i not sure if we killed Karnak there at the end, be just before Gorgon. We might have. I know you do fight Karnak. You dare so call yourself a true warrior. So Sif ta starts talking smack to Gorgon. But, you know, Quake is like, all right, relax. He was holding back. It wasn't his full power. Gorgon's terrible in Marvel Future Fight, so I kind of feel bad for him for that. But we dip. We don't want to see Gorgon wake up. And now we have this final mission where we confront Maximus. But we'll have to go through some familiar faces before that. Man, I feel I kind of feel bad that we ditched Karnak that quickly. So this stage starts off exactly the same uh, design-wise as the previous stage. You got to destroy these boxes here. It's a lot harder on the ultimate mode. We gotta get more of these. Oh no, I think that's Karnak there. Okay, good. We didn't kill Karnak. There he is. Karnak shows up. I won't let you get in our way. Yeah, I think you will, Karnak. I'm pretty sure you'll be fine. Because I just killed you with one. Yo, that spear goes forever. But yeah, we just killed Karnak. So, you merc Karnak, Gorgon, Moon Girl, Medu uh, not Medusa, uh, Kamala Khan. So here again, we have to wait for these shields to power down. Take them down. Using a directional attack that you know is going to land is probably a good idea. Because Valkyrie, some of her... Oh, no. Oh, see? Yeah, see? I just I just goofed that up. Valkyrie spins a bit too much. It's not the best choice for this mission. And she has kind of a long delay on some of her skills. What I really appreciate as well about this is when you beat a character... Oh, there's Medusa. When you beat a character, they have lines on the side there. I've been sort of ignoring it when the, when the boxes pop up and they start talking. But Karnak was just talking... And uh, you'll see other characters talking as well. Karnak, are you sure we're going in the right direction? Bro, I'm Karnak. I can find any weakness. I know exactly where Maximus has hidden the Terrigen device. Okay, I wish Karnak was better. Medusa's here in the new uniform, which is sick. Of course, Medusa's going to try and stop us, just like everybody else has. A crisis the Inhumans are going to end with force if necessary. Also, don't think the Medusa fight. Sorry to, sorry to murk her, but I fought Medusa a lot more slowly. Uh, and she didn't seem to have any gimmicks or any sort of like special effects here. And now we have to fight Black Bolt. And the, the, the commentary, the text, the dialogue for Black Bolt is amazing. Check this out. Right? And then Medusa's like, bro, or honey. And then he's like, oh, 
and, and then she's like, come on, our people have suffered, but unleashing the Terrigen won't heal those wounds. And then Black Bolt's like, wait, that's not Black Bolt. All right, anyways, they start talking about their special bond with the telepathy. And they're like, listen, he's not going to listen. So let's just, let's just end this the way we know how. With our fists. You got more of these cubes. Just destroy them all. Throw the spear. Very nice. Bada boom. Now, we've beaten everybody else. There's nobody left except Maximus himself. Oh, okay. So here you have to just avoid the obstacles. Whoa. I got turned gigantic? Okay, that didn't happen to me when I played before. That was really cool. Anywho, you can't... Ow. You can't uh, destroy these. You have to just run, run around them carefully. And if you run into them, obviously you take damage. Now we confront Maximus. Check this out. Check out this cutscene. Boom! Through the wall. That's so sick. <laughs> Environmental damage. Sif looking hot. Confronting dirty Maximus. Look at him. Smugly sitting on the throne. They designed the whole throne room. This looks sick, right? Doesn't this look sick? I didn't think you'd make it this far. It's over, Maximus. Stand down or we will shoot. And make me a martyr to my people. I suppose there'll be a glorious end. So this is a pretty, pretty good scripting here. Pretty good... Uh, dialogue between them sounds to me like what Maximus would say sounds to me it's I mean it's a bit cliche but it's okay right we don't we're not expecting them to be writing the next like Marvel comic book here it's it's just for Marvel future fight but he confronts Daisy this is pretty good I like these cutscenes where the text goes by itself it seems like they've paced it properly whereas normally you just have to press and, and go through each one yourself so he sort of mocks Daisy and how she's wasting her time with these creatures. You know, Maximus and his rhetoric. And uh, she's like, you know what? We're on the right side of, of, of decisions here. And now he's like, I'm going to destroy you. Boom. And he snaps his fingers and all the robots show up. Yeah. Early grave. He looks sick. He looks so sick. So you fight him. I don't think, again, I, I kind of rushed the fight here, but there aren't any gimmicks in the fight against Maximus. You just have to destroy him. And then bada bing bada boom you're done there you go and you get seven bows there we get a little clip here you're too late no we're not and i'm not even now i'm close enough to use my powers with enough precision to shake every circuit in that bomb loose without releasing the terrigen how convenient wrapped up the story with a nice little bow nobody got hurt no injuries no catastrophe no ramifications no consequences <laughs> anyways so yeah quakes quake saves the day does quake deserve a tier three for this guys you let me know in the comments down below Quake saves the day, stops Maximus. Some things are worth fighting for, and others are worth fighting against. She's got the sass, she's got the lines to, to boot, and she's putting Maximus in his place. And there you go, and that's the whole storyline. So, oh, wait, there's more. So, Maximus, so Lady Sif wants to basically destroy Maximus. She doesn't want to leave him alive, which is hilarious. And she basically uh, gets into an argument with everybody else because they're like, you know, we can just take care of things our way normally, right? Uh, we're going to lock him up. And then Sif is like, oh, well, lock Joss shows to frame up. Dante shows up. Uh, let's hope that doesn't happen. And then he's like, you should have killed this wretch when you had the chance. Sif just wants to murder Maximus just straight up. So she's out for blood. Hilarious. And then Gemma comes in and she talks about this transmission from the beginning. And of course, it's so this is basically set up for chapter 12 and chapter 13 with the you know, converging realities and how Thanos is going to use the convergence bomb to, you know, destroy every future. This is just sort of some setup for that. This is the other Gemma and the, and our Gemmas from different Earths. I like that they're doing this. I think it's pretty cool. And it's part of the reason why you can get like multiple different uniforms for characters. It sort of fits the theme of the game, right? Because you have all these universes colliding so we can have, you know, multiple versions of Spider-Man all living under the same roof, for example, even though one's a clone and one's this and one's that, right? So pretty cool uh nick fury gives her the okay to keep doing more research with these two um these two gemmas i wonder now i'm thinking about it i wonder if the agent 13 visual rework was just made for those cutscenes. I, I wonder if she's not going to get anything so anyways that's the new story not sh not too sure like i said if you want to rush to get this because the fragments unfortunately uh will combine or can combine to give you an iso Obviously, you can combine these fragments and get tier three components, and I believe you get 125 of this or this. So for those of you that are hardcore farmers and you have a large roster, you may consider unlocking this and, and making sure you have the right characters for it for the ultimate mode, uh, because this will give you the maximum amount of potential tier three farming materials per day. But again, 
I only opened this box once so far. I got a Awakened Vital. So it, this one's probably the most risky to open. You know, for the other ones, if you open it and you don't get what you want, you can still get a uh, six-star uh, six star Uru or an Odin's Blessing. And then for this one, if you don't get what you want as far as Tier 3 materials, you can still get a five-star or six-star card. So, yeah. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.